now once again you have to give the mechanism for this reaction so this is the, the reactant you have you have a benzene and this contains a double bond now if this is reacted with chpr3 that is bromoform we have discussed in the class if this bromoform is treated in basic medium now this gives the final product this and here you have so let us say and then you have br br so you have to add one br this side are you getting or not okay so one br this side and another br this side so copy this one so what you have you having a benzene ring and then you have a carbon here you have a carbon here you have a carbon so you have three carbon one two three so if you see the product finally you can get the idea what we have to do you see initially you have one two carbon and here you have three carbon one two three this suggests me i have to insert one carbon between these two double bond so i have a insertion reaction of carbon so this if you see basically there are if you see there are cbr2 that has been inserted so there you have a double bond and now we have added cbr2 here so you can see it looks like cbr2 insertion You're getting or not so cbr2 basically is a carbene so it looks like CBr2 insertion. Are you getting or not? Now, how can I add? So I have to make a carbene. So this is a. I have to form a carbene, and that is easy. I can do alpha elimination. Alpha elimination. In case of CHBr3, we can easily do alpha elimination because this hydrogen is very acidic. Because this bromine, there are three bromine. So this takes electron this side, this also takes electron, this also takes. So this hydrogen is basically very acidic hydrogen. So this is not a simple hydrogen. This is acidic hydrogen. So I can easily take this H plus. So if I take this H plus, C B R B R, I think you are able to write. If this base OH minus takes this H plus, same time this electron goes here, this goes here. So this is the alpha elimination. You're getting so this is a case of alpha elimination so if this is a case of alpha elimination i'm getting cbr br carbene are getting also this carbene i'm getting now things are very simple i have to simply insert the carbene on the benzene and the double bond we cannot insert the carbene on benzene ring i have to add carbene only on double bond so cbr br now this electron goes here and these two electrons comes here so if you follow this step you will get the desired product so i have to have br here and one more br here and then ch2 are you getting or not so let us copy this one so this is example of alpha elimination reaction are you getting are you able to look or not so they see here you have a carbon 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 three carbon and this carbon BR, BR. So you will 1, 2, 3 carbon side chain. Side chain, side chain, you have 3 carbon and 1 carbon that is attached to 2 bromine. So this is the final product we, have, we are looking for. Okay, if you have copied this one, uh, let us do here itself one easy problem more. So if you have, so this question says, I think all of you have copied this one. So if you have this alkene, and if this is treated with HCl, and our solvent is CH3OH, that is ether alcohol as a solvent. The product you are getting, you are getting two product, and one product you have here hydrogen attached. And one product you have chlorine attached here, and another product you have OCSD attached here. So you have to give me the mechanism. Very simple. In both cases, electrophile is hydrogen. In one case, nucleophile is chlorine. In another case, nucleophile is OCS3. That is here. OCS3. Are you getting or not? So now you know the answer. So first step is simply H plus attack. So you have H plus will generate a carbocation so let us add H plus here and you have a carbocation now you have two nucleophile that is Cl minus HCl will give you Cl minus 
So if Cl minus attacks here, let us call this path A. So this is a attack of Cl minus path A. Or you can also add OCS3, basically H. In the same case, OCS3H, this can also attack. Let us call this path as V. On the same case, I have to release one H plus. So if I follow the path A, I will get this product. If I follow the path B, I will get this product. I think uh, you are able to understand. So this is, if I follow the path A, I will get this product, the top one. If I follow the path B, I will get this product. Are you getting? So that is the mechanism we have to write for this in this re reaction. So you see, electrophile is same in both cases, but nucleophile is changing because solvent can also attack. Cl minus can attack. Also, solvent can also attack. That's why we are getting two products. If somebody is not asking anything, if simply it gives HCl and does not mention the solvent, then in that case you have to add H plus and Cl minus. But if you mention the solvent, in that case you have to take consideration of solvent also, whether solvent can attack or not. If solvent cannot attack, that's fine, like CCl4 if you have the solvent, in that case CCl4 cannot attack. So if you have a solvent like water, water can attack. So you have to consider the solvent also. Okay, so let us copy this one, then we'll go for the next problem.